Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome all our audience today. Amen. Today's teaching on the uh, on the on the YouTube. Hallelujah! Praise the living God. Is the personality of the Holy Spirit. My name is Dr. Tori Bright, founder and, pres founder and president of the Wellness Christ Ministry. This is my wife. My name is Dr. Therese Bright. I'm a uh, pastor and co-founder of Wellness Christ Ministries of St. Louis, Missouri. Hallelujah. We welcome our audience during today. Hallelujah. Get your Bible and follow us. We're going to teach of the person of the Holy Spirit. Who is a person anyway? A person is a is an entity that has ability to will, to think, and to know. And Holy Spirit is more than a person. How do we know that? A person has intellect. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Romans chapter 8. 8, verse 26 and 27. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know that not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. 27. Verse 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit. So the Spirit has a mind. Thank you, Lord Jesus, as intellect. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's also see First Corinthians chapter two, verses ten, eleven, and twelve, please. Where everything was saying, you, we want to back with the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The person of the Holy Spirit. Once you know the person, once you know Holy Spirit is a person, you must learn to treat, to relate to him on a continual basis as a person, by depend, depending, relying. Absolute surrendering to him. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter two. First Corinthians chapter two, verses ten. Praise God. First Corinthians chapter two, verse ten. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all okay. things. Only the spirit can reveal things, because he knows all things. Okay. The spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is a person, He knows everything about God, about all hidden things. He makes it known to you and I as, a, as children of God, hallelujah, once you are born again, and we are living in obedience to Him. Another quality of the Holy Spirit is that He has a will. He has his will, his will separate from the Father, from the Son. Hallelujah. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11, we read. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11. But all these worketh that one and the selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. As he will. Remember, the Holy Spirit is called he. He's not it. It's a person, personal pronoun is addressed to the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Let's see Romans chapter 15 verse 30. Shows the emotion of the Holy Spirit. Me, he loves. A, I mean, a piece of rock cannot rock, cannot love. <laughs> Piano or, or telephone cannot love. Right. Only, only those are inanimate objects. Only yeah. a person can love. You can love. See, and what? the Holy Spirit is considered a person. He is the Spirit of, of God. Amen. And he loves. He loves. It's, it's more than an influence or a fire or rain. These are all symbol of him. We call him him because he's a person. He's God, yet he's still a person. Separate from the Father, the Son. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 15, verse 30, please. Romans 15, verse 30. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit, that ye strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. See, the love of the Spirit. The Father loves, Jesus loves, so is the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. You want to receive His love today? You want to lead them to prayer to receive Christ? Please. Please pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you right now. I ask you right now. To forgive me for all my sins. To forgive me all my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And save me. And save me. And make me your child. And make me your child. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your love. For your love. Your mercy. Your mercy. And your forgiveness. And your forgiveness. I thank you. I thank you. For your blood. For your blood. That you shed for me on Calvary. That you shed your blood on the Calvary. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. Healing me. For healing me. And delivering me. And delivering me. From every yoke of bondage. From every yoke of bondage. In every prison house. In every prison house. Amen. 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 Now, now you're free. Amen. Go on. Amen. Now you're free to serve the Lord. You've accepted Christ. And this is a new beginning, a new day. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You're a new creature in Christ. Praise God. Now that you are born again, this Holy Spirit is in you now. But is there in a measure. We want to have His Spirit without measure by being filled and baptized daily in the Holy Spirit and fire. But you have to treat Him and relate and talk to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So He can continue to reveal the Father, the Son, and Himself to you. Amen. 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 For, the, for the, all those who are praying, they pray, release the presence and the power of God to fill your life more than water covered the sea. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for your healing. See, we are not the healer. Jesus Christ is the healer. He sent the Spirit to heal. To manifest the healing, open your heart and receive His best heart and Lord, so the Holy Spirit can make Himself real to you, real to you, real to the Father, about the Father, the Son, and Himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray right now. Those who are put your hands uh, where you're hurting. There's someone you've just been in a car accident. It was a, a brown car, and your neck, you have a weak lash. Your neck is in pain. You are healed right now in the yes, name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord, speaking to you. Thank you, Lord. There's so many people in the audience that have arthritis in their bodies. The Lord said He's taken arthritis. He's taken sickness out of your midst. You're healed and made whole. Every way to whole, every pain, every ache in your body is gone right now in Jesus' name. There's, a, there's some ladies who are in, watching in the audience right now. When you need to wash your hair, your hair has been falling out. The next time you wash your hair, put a little bit of salt in the water and wash your hair and see, we see that your hair will not fall anymore. Because salt is a tap of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You have anything you have to share? No, that was it. Praise well, God. The small, the small you must pay hallelujah. <laughs> Someone has stomach disorder, you have uh, intestine, cancer, Christ is healing you right now. You, someone is bleeding with stomach ulcer. Someone is being healed of uterus, you have cancer in your uterus, you are being healed right now. Jesus is a healer. Amen. Check with Jesus. the med church with your physician and he or she will confirm the healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Don't throw medication away, hallelujah. We are standing in faith with you, hallelujah, to be made whole. There's someone in your audience, you are depressed because you just lost the loved ones. Jesus told me to tell you that, hallelujah, be comforted, be at peace. Every spirit of depression, suicide, yes, go out of that place and great to go right now from that person's that. life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord is healing someone, hallelujah. You have a, um, your gum has been bleeding. Your teeth has, uh, trying to your teeth is losing, losing, losing its grip out of the gum. You are whole right now in the name Thank of you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Thank Jesus. you, Lord Jesus. Someone has throat cancer. You are being healed in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is doing much more in the audience more than we can call for, and we are not the miracle worker. Amen. We are not the healer. The Lord is here. Amen. Spirit of the Lord is the the released Lord is through the lens. Hallelujah to your home. Hallelujah. Anytime you start talking about the Holy Spirit, He manifests. Amen. Because he loves to be talked about, he loves to be honored, he loves to be worshipped, and we're honoring him by speaking about him, letting him, letting you know more about the Holy Spirit and who he is as a person. Amen. That's why in the book of Zechariah chapter four verse six it says, "It's not by might, nor by power, it's by my Spirit," says the Lord. But we have to learn to rely on the Holy Spirit, not on the, on the Spirit of this world. The Spirit of the, this world is the last of the flesh, the last of the eye, the pride of life. Repent and renounce and be full of the Spirit all the days of your life, the Holy yes. Spirit. And let the Holy Spirit use you grossly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now let's take, take this time to thank the Lord who is done for us to Lord, we give, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We honor. magnify and worship thank and you, exalt Jesus. you, Lord. You are a good God. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name forever. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Stay tuned for the next clip. Thank Amen. you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you majesty. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 